everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, bit of a weird angle, but today we're doing a bookshop reorganization and if I kneel down or sit down, I'm gonna be too high. But also I'm like at a weird angle and this is not very flattering for me. So, so I'm gonna like, bit of a squat kind of a thing. So, hi, it's been a while. I guess I should talk about that first <laughs> and then we'll get into the bookshop reorganization. See, the bottom line is I got a job. So, uh, I've been adjusting. So that's been why there's been no videos. Back in May, I did my final exams. And then kind of in May, the, like the end of May and start of June, I was kind of just like relaxing. And, you know, I was keeping up with booktube. I've been pretty good at doing roughly two videos a week since about April. And then I was kind of like casually looking for jobs. And then I got one. I did pre-record a couple of videos like I pre-recorded my June wrap-up which you haven't seen as well as another video and I also had a vlog that I had done uh, so I had three videos I still have those three videos and I just haven't really found the time to edit because it's like once I'm finished I can either read watch booktube or edit I don't really have time for all of them and so I'm usually choosing the things that I enjoy more than editing and I was like oh I should be able to like I had a couple of vlog ideas like well at least vlogging like it, that's only like five minutes out of a day so it's not like me sitting down to record a 20 30 minute video um but the one vlog i tried to film i ended up hating <laughs> so i ended up deleting that whole thing so that didn't happen so yeah so i'm adjusting i hopefully should be back at it soon <laughs> i think i'm gonna say september but hopefully sometime in august i should be back a bit more regular but We'll say September to give me some time. So September, I'm hoping to be back to, well, I'm hoping to be back to one video a week and then either a video or sprints as well. So at least there'll be like two things on a week on my channel. Okay, so that's the goal. So September, <laughs> but I do need to reorganize my bookshelves because as you can see, I've started stacking books and nobody wants that. So I guess that's number two, what I'll talk about. Um, Included in that vlog that I deleted, I did do a mini book haul. So I bought three books in one day. So Gallant by B.E. Schwab and uh, Her Majesty's Royal Cousin. I got these buy one get one half price. And then I also got Long Shadow by Libby Atwater because included in that vlog that I deleted, I read 10,000 Stitches and I really enjoy that. And then one more book to haul. It, I didn't buy them on the same days. I actually got this sent by the lovely Emma. And so it's The Golden Enclave Lives by Naomi Novik. So as you can see, Naomi Novik. I'm kind of a fan. <laughs> so Emma, uh, basically Emma, she was going to one of Naomi Novik's events and when buying a ticket for the event you get a paperback and she is a hardback girly. I'm a paperback girly obviously. It was in Cassidy's Discord. She was like, does anyone want a paperback of the Golden Long Clips? I was like, I do. <laughs> and then she, very lovely, she got it signed. So <laughs> yes. So thanks a lot. And I, it was genuinely embarrassing when I opened this, like I did a weird little dance. I'm not gonna recreate it, but it was embarrassing. But also, I'm not ashamed. You still can't see them all. Um, but see, if I put you down maybe lower, you're gonna be too low, I think. No, that's actually okay. I have three bookshelves. Also, there's a little crap in the corner over there, so you're gonna ignore that as well. So we have this bookshelf, which is my adult fantasy bookshelf. We have a bookshelf over here, which is my TBR, and then we have everything else. So we're going to focus on the TBR and the Adult Fantasy today and then I think tomorrow I'm going to do those two, um, the other ones. So so we have, th as I said, so this is all Adult Fantasy except for Schwab, which is why I want to move Schwab. I think I'm going to put my TBR back on my shelves just generally in with them and I might, I used to do it where I turn them around if I hadn't read them yet. So I might do that again. Then I think I'm going to put my Schwab books on that one. And so then this will be just Adult Fantasy because obviously Schwab also writes YA Fantasy. I'm going to keep it in alphabetical order, but I'm going to put my hardbacks and slash oddly shaped books on the bottom row down here, which is Hob. So I'm going to try and hopefully have Hob back in alphabetical order. Um, and so I'm going to keep like the special editions of the first three Parseer books. I'm going to keep them down here as well as like Bear and the Nightingale, Legends and Lachets. Obviously Gallant will be going over there. And then also, I'll probably also put Daughter of No Worlds by Chris Broadbent 
down with that because that's like a really big paperback whereas these ones like these are slightly big like the sort of kaigen and also like middle game but i'm not sure they're big enough to annoy me but we'll see because they might get also get bumped down into that shelf and basically i'm kind of putting them down there because they'll be the heaviest books and this is not technically secured to the wall i want to like weigh it down and that's basically why hob and schwab are there <laughs> And not further up because I would like to display them but I was like these are the heaviest books. So then this is the TBR shelf. As I said I'm gonna turn this into my Schwab shelf and then I'm gonna put all of these back on the stuff. So most of it is all fancy. Okay this isn't and these aren't but everything else is all fancy and then everything else will be going on that shelf. And then these are the last shelves. So this all the way up. As I said this is technically two shelves but I have it one on top of the other and I don't really know what way I was thinking about this before I went to sleep last night I don't really know what way I want to do it whether I want to do it in alphabetical order or anything like that like I kind of have it split up by genre but also not really I'm thinking like adult book so I'm thinking like adult sci-fi adult contemporary slash horror slash non-fiction and I'll probably fit all of those on the same shelf because I only have like two horrors then into like YA sci-fi slash dystopians slash one YA thriller one way YA horror and then up to YA fantasy and then at the very top I'll do middle grade which is basically just Percy Jackson books I'm thinking that so let's do this Okay guys, so here's all of the books and they're mostly in alphabetical order except for our hop. The only things that I need to mess with is I'm going to take First Law Trilogy off my shelves because I'm going to unhaul those and also Prayer of the Orange Tree. I think I'm happy with everything else though. Um, yeah, I'm okay. Okay. And then yeah. Prior of the Orange Street is gonna get on hold. And then they're all fine. I am considering unhauling the Legends of Lollies. But so then we have all of the Schwab stuff on the floor, plus Lover, because I knocked all my Taylor Swift CDs over. And then obviously these are all gonna be cleared off and put on this shelf. So I don't think there's nothing adult on these, is there? No. No. Well, obviously, except like alt sci-fi and alt contemporaries so this though is well i mean it's a fantasy romance but i guess i'll put it with the fantasies but as i said i'm gonna put it with the hardbacks because they're weirdly shaped so yeah so i guess now we put them all back on the shelf run into our first issue i'm gonna have to separate the brandon sanderson but i don't think that bothers me that much because he's not a favorite author whereas like example like i wouldn't want to separate like the jen lyons books or like the naomi novik or the robin hobb i might have to separate the robin hobb because there's so many of them but like the naomi novik i would like to have them all together which looks like i will because those come next after these <laughs> right in the middle so maybe i might put that down there with the weird shaped books put a lantris and warbreaker on this shelf and then the final empire up on this one I'm 
going to be bold and just leave those blank so I can put all the hops together. So here we have A to G and then G into H, which is Hob. And then we have, as I said, a big gap. I, J, K, L. More L. I'm so glad that I was able to fit all of these together, as well as all of the Naomi Novik. Then we did have to split up Brandon Sanderson. And then we've got some Samantha Shannon and into my oddly shaped books, as I shall call them. Took off the books that were left over. So we have US paperbacks, UK paperbacks, which is the majority. Then we have UK hardbacks, we have graphic novels, and then we have one single US hardback, which I got from Elle Crate. I will be limited with this shelf because of the fact they are very oddly shaped. So like this middle shelf, for example, I'm pretty sure I won't fit. Yeah, I won't fit the US paperbacks on that one. And I'm pretty sure I probably won't fit UK paperback hardbacks, even though they're without the dust jacket, I might. What about width? I would just about fit UK hardbacks in, whereas on the top and the bottom shelf, I should be able to fit the US. Yeah, I'll we'll probably put the UK US paperbacks down here. I think I'll put the UK paperbacks in the middle shelf, and then I might see if I can fit the hardbacks on the same shelf, but we'll see. To figure out what way I want to do this. <laughs> Maybe I should move these up here. Oh, I'm not going to fit them all. Ah! Oh no, I will. I just won't fit the Owl Crate edition of Gallant. Oh, I just remember I'm, I'm going to be getting Threads of Power. That's going to be a bother. But obviously, the, sh the graphic novels are a bit awkward because I, there's no way they're fitting in. <laughs> because like, so I'm going to have to put them on the sides. I'll put Gallant oh, like this. And then this is also from Elkrate. It's um a red London, like it's based on a coin as well as like the river. Um and it says just Astro Bars on it, and then the box says I'd rather die in an adventure than live standing still. So I'll put that there as well. So that's where it's gonna be for now, but it's gonna expand a lot more. I have a wish list it's private because like i wouldn't want anyone to like buy me something off a wish list like and it'd be something i've already read i feel weird about that there's just a whole load i used to have on book depository which was a lot easier because it had like different like language editions on it whereas like it's kind of hard to find them on amazon yeah so the main ones i would like is i want to get and again i have all of these on um a wish list i want to get two and three in UK paperbacks. I want to get Vicious and Ventral in UK paperbacks. Then we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Then I want to get two and three in the black editions. I, would, I technically already have one. And I also technically have Vicious and Ventral in the hardbacks. Then I would like to get the white one year anniversary, I think it was, edition of the uh, Addy. I have all of this Savage Song that I want. I want the, yeah, I want the second book of that. And then, US ones, I'm kind of, it's going to be so hard and so expensive to get them. So I might kind of be taking a break. Like here it is, Schwab. And we're going to keep expanding. Okay, so it's a bit later in the day. I'm going to tackle this. See, this is a little more awkward because as you can see, it's double stacked. But the books that are double stacked are books that I don't really want to get rid of because of nostalgia reasons. But like, I'm probably never going to reread. Okay, now to dust them. 
here's all of the books that are like property going on the shelf also i did realize range of echoes couldn't be a problem ya fantasy and ya horror also adult fantasy which i don't own set around in the nightfall but i will so what do i do then so yeah so these are all of the books that have to go back on the shelves and then these also will go back on the shelves but these are like the ones that i'm gonna hide away So this is where we're at. We still do have a whole lot of Xenoclare on the floor. But I think that I'll just, with like a load of this stuff, like I'll put them behind it and like basically to make a little shelf so you can see them better. And then, yeah, that's the plan. I don't really like them that much, but it's just awkward because there's some weird sized things. So, there's not really much I can do about it. Hi! So I was getting ready to post this video and then I realized I never like finished this video really. Like, I didn't really show you the YA other genre shelf because it all happened pretty quick. And like, honestly, that is in such an awkward position. You probably noticed the lighting was horrible. So I just kind of did it on my own time but now i'm gonna give you a quick rundown and yeah say goodbye so as i said this is the adult fantasy shelf and it is alphabetical except for the oddly shaped books i really love how this bookshelf looks it's just it's so pretty anyway and then the schwab shelf again i haven't changed anything with this what i do need to change though is i actually have those three two going three two one so i need to change that um and also i bought the second one of those no, I'm just slowly collecting them. And so then, I think this hasn't really changed much since you last saw it, except it now has books behind them, which, like, those books don't really matter as much anyways. But anyway, so we have adult sci-fi, non-fiction, one YA sci-fi, YA sci-fi, then we have, I guess, kind of historical fiction, I kind of consider them more general fiction. Then we have horrors, adult contemporary, YA contemporary, a YA, I can you think it's classified as a thriller, YA historical fiction. Then we go into all of our YA fantasy, which goes up until here. And again, so these are all in alphabetical order. And I did actually buy um, Silver Under the Nightfall, the US paperback. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. I have a feeling I might actually put it over with the oddly shaped paperbacks. But I'm not 100% sure. You can kind of see like the Cassandra Clare books more than you can like other books that are hidden behind. Because they're, they mean a lot. <laughs> and then we have our middle grade, I guess. Which is basically just Percy Jackson and House of Castle. <laughs> so yeah. And you know what? At first I didn't like it. But it's kind of grown on me. So those are the new reorganized bookshelves so thank you guys so much for watching i do hope you enjoyed if you did subscribe and i'll see y'all in the next one bye